All right, so a client has brought me their laptop. And it has a broken screen. Turn it on and let you see what that looks like. So yeah, um, just crack right through there and not through here. Um, just unusable. What I'm going to do is hook up a uh, external monitor to it. And I imagine that's how they were using it. So it's just a HDMI port and you plug it into uh, a monitor or a TV. And once it boots into Windows, it should give us an image here on my uh, on my TV. Sounds like it just rebooted. Maybe it was doing a, a Windows update. This computer is in pretty bad shape. Um, other than that, the keyboard is very uh, sticky. It's very dirty. I can hear the uh, the fan in it making uh, more noise than it should. Um, so this thing, uh, it's in bad shape. And I actually hear something now that I suppose that was the fan, although it kind of sounded like a hard drive. Still nothing on the screen. Although I can hear the drive accessing. Let's see, maybe I have it on the wrong input. I'm pretty sure HDMI 2 is this cable I've got here, but let's check HDMI 1. So yeah, HDMI 2 should be correct, but still nothing on the monitor, even though it sounds like it booted up and... Let's disconnect this and plug it back in. Oh, there we go. Okay, so the computer does basically work. All right, so the trackpad, I'm having trouble locating the mouse. Well, anyway, what I'm going to do is just uh, hold down the power button, and that will make the computer turn off. All right. So I'm going to take out the battery, which is unlocking it and then sliding this to eject it. So I'll be replacing the screen and taking out the battery is a, a good kind of better safe than sorry um, thing to do. So there's just a plastic bezel that goes all around here. For some reason they left on the the wrap that came with it. I'm just going around. And this thing's just held in by clips. Just about got it. That off. Okay, so there's four screws holding it together. One, two, three, four. there. And turn off my monitor. Don't need it anymore. Okay, so then it should just come out and so it's display cables down here. It's kind of in a little plastic uh, groove there. So I'm just going to move it out of that groove and I'll need to put it back. All right, so there's a piece of tape you have to pull back. Just be very careful with it because this is attached to the display cable. Basically just take it all the way back and then the display cable should just come out of the monitor. There you go. On some laptops, there's also a little metal bar that fits over the connector. 
so it's kind of like a, on a swivel here that you have to take off. Mostly sit on dells. Okay, so there's the broken screen. And this should be our replacement. some tools. That's nice. Extended warranty or extend the warranty for free. I guess if you go on and register it, that's cool. Okay, so here is our new screen. So at this point, it's just reversing the process, really. Um, just get it to where you can, oh, there's a little bit of lint there. Let's go ahead and take that off. Get it to where you can easily bring the display cable over to it. Just kind of get it centered and down and then the best way to do this, I found, is to hold it by the uh, piece of tape and then pull toward yourself. Just like that. So it should be flush. I'll put that down. That's lost a little bit of its stickiness. What I'm going to do is take a piece of tape. right over the top of that, just for some extra security. Don't want that backing out on its own. Okay, so the cable goes right in there. So I'm gonna kind of set it where it needs to be and then push it down in there. All right, so protective film needs to come off, but before that, let me go ahead and put the screws in. Taking out a broken screen, I would use this, but just because it's kind of heavy and it's a power tool, when putting in a new monitor, I like to do it just with a regular screwdriver. Okay, so usually there's a little tab where you can find the protective screen cover's corner and pull it, but this looks like it's just, oh yeah, it's come off easy. There we go. And then we will put back on the bezel. Just kind of get it in there and it's all held in by clips, so it's just a matter of getting it in the right spot and squeezing around the edges to get it to pop back together. So what I'm doing is I'm holding on the back as I push on the front. Feels good. Check these back bits. Yeah. These right here need to kind of be pushed together. There and there. Yeah. 
whole bunch of clips came out of that. This thing's had a hard life. Okay, so battery. Put the bottom of it in and then down. Turn the lock on. Uh, let's go ahead and give it power. And turn it on. We should get an image on the screen. Yep, there we go. You know what? I think that extra noise I was hearing um, was the DVD drive. Yeah, right over here. Don't see these on newer computers. I kind of forgot what they sounded like. Okay, so it looks like it's uh, it's going to boot up and work fine. What I'll do is I'll get the, uh, the password from the client and check it out the rest of the way and make sure there's no other problems I need to deal with while I've got it. Thanks for watching.